So here we're going to take a look at a character fully rigged up with Anzivit Rig Tools. Now you may notice, as I start pulling the character around, that it's a little slow with a full complement of limbs. The deformer parallelizes really well, so it can be made very fast in theory, you could even use a GPU to run it, but for the moment, there's still a lot of work to do before it's up to full speed. Now let's take a look at the spine. It behaves very much like a spline IK stretchy spine, not unlike those already existing in Maya rigs, but you may notice that it's actually only one bone. It is literally a single bone with a bone CV in it. That is how easy it is to make that kind of spine in Ansev and Rig Tools. Moreover, let's take a look at what it's like to weight paint. You'll notice as I drop into weight painting mode here, that the entire spine is one single influence. Much easier to paint than the potentially hundreds of influences in a conventional Maya rig. The areas of your character's body are these big regions of weight, as opposed to a whole lot of little things you have to control. This is true even for things that contain multiple joints, like the arm. Every bone chain is a single spline deformation, so all you have to do is to paint which regions of the body are affected by which spline, effectively. How an elbow bends, for instance, is controllable by a set of much simpler and much more intuitive controls than the conventional enormous amount of weight painting necessary to make an arm work.